What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol PLUG for Plug Power Inc, of course the electric vehicle charging company. On the left hand side we are looking at the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. Starting off from the daily perspective I think it would behoove me to not mention that we did see earnings announcements after the bell today so let's flip on our extended hours session and just kind of get a feel for where we're trading at. So as we currently sit and again a lot can happen between now and 9.30 a.m. when the bell actually rings but let's assume that we're going to be opening on a gap higher and let's for round number six say that we're going to be opening anywhere above at or around this 27 dollar mark and 50 cents so turning that back off to clean up the chart and focusing on the daily first uh, to get some you know obvious areas of support and resistance mapped out clearly a double bottom down here close to uh, let's call that 25 nice round number and then an area of resistance up here close to 28 to 22 you can just see a number of touches that are in play so one two three in there four, five, and I'd even argue that six is in there on that upper wick as well from that green inverted hammer. So if we're opening up around 2750, you know, there's a lot of potential things that could happen here uh, in terms of gap and go or gap and reverse, right? So obviously the gap would fill to the high of today's candle. That's going to be around 2665. Just to tell you uh, a little bit about the strategy on how you play a gap fill reversal, you would look for something like this. So again, let's just for easy numbers sake, say that we're opening somewhere down here at 2750. So we're opening in here. Uh, let's say that we fail to get up to that overnight high. We roll over, cross back down through the open. Again, just for theory's sake, we're saying that's 2750. You would go short here and look for the gap to fill, obviously, to the high of the prior day session at 2665. So that's one potential trade idea here in plug. And, you know, you have the daily trend in your favor. Look at this sort of slide to the downside. It certainly would be, in my opinion, considered a little bit of a daily bear flag, right? Something like this could break down much lower on any breaks of this 25 mark. I'm not saying that's going to happen on tomorrow's session, but I am saying the daily downtrend is in your favor for this potential trade idea to work out for the gap fill. Now, if we get a gap and go, let's just talk about potential overhead levels. Again, your long would be over the overnight high. So you're waiting for, you know, say we open down here, we make it to the overnight high and break out over the top of 2867. I would argue that there needs to be some consolidation, especially if we're opening about a dollar lower uh, before the break, but a break over the overnight high, where does that put us? in terms of the daily time frame, you know, not a whole lot of overhead resistance that's obvious here until this mark right in here, which I would do eyeball at 3050. And it looks like it's slightly lower at $30 and 32 cents. So that would be a potential upside target. Note that the 50 SMA, the blue line is here as well, which should act as overhead resistance. So on any breaks over the overnight high, you know, start to look to maybe trim some of the position here at 2975. And then the rest of it maybe close out here at uh, this prior area of resistance. It also offered some support in here as well. So those are kind of my initial thoughts here on plug, especially dealing with the earnings. Again, a lot can happen between now and 930. But those are a couple of scenarios that I would be watching out for if the gap fills and we move lower. Obviously, you know, your target is down here at 25. So if you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, let me know down below in the comments section or by simply leaving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked down below in the description of this video. And all of that being said, we wish you a green trading week.